I think there are five or six students new today. I think there are five or six students new today. So guys, let's quickly jump into the presentation. Okay. So today we are going to cover uh, some interesting topics of machine learning. Uh, am I audible clearly? Yes. Okay. okay. So uh, uh, we are going to cover some interesting topic of machine learning. I know there are some topics that are already covered by Susan. Okay. So uh, basically my topics of discussion are intro to uh, uh, machine learning like unsupervised machine learning, clustering techniques, deep learning and its techniques. Okay. These are my topics for discussion. But this is important to revise some previous concepts. Okay. It will not take more than 10 to 15 minutes. I will quickly revise. Uh, some of the previous concepts that are already covered by Susan. Uh, I will revise what is machine learning, types of machine learning, training and testing data, steps to implement machine learning model. Okay, then we will uh, start with unsupervised learning. Okay, then we will discuss clustering and its type, clustering techniques, and the most important thing we are going to cover practical implementation of supervised machine learning. Okay, classification. Regression is already done by Susan. टाइम नहीं बचा था तो फिर उसको वहीं पे ओवर करना पड़ा तो क्लासिफिकेशन आज मैं डिस्कस करूंगा सो ओके सो वी आर गोना कवर वी आर गोइंग टू कवर प्रैक्टिकल इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ सुपरवाइज्ड मशीन लर्निंग मींस वी आर गोइंग टू कवर क्लासिफिकेशन ओके एंड आल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर प्रैक्टिकल इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ अनसुपरवाइज्ड लर्निंग लेट्स सी टाइम कितना बचता है आई विल ट्राई टू कवर ऑल द टॉपिक अगर लास्ट के लिए टाइम नहीं बचा तो वी विल कवर लास्ट topic in tomorrow's class okay so today we will discuss these topics and tomorrow we will discuss deep learning and its techniques okay is it clear everyone should i start yeah okay so first of all let me introduce myself my name is rohit i'm a third year student uh, i'm pursuing my btech degree in computer science artificial intelligence and machine learning I am pursuing my B.Tech degree in specialization in AI and ML. Okay, this is my contact information. You can search me on LinkedIn. Just search Rohit Chandra Joshi. You will find my LinkedIn ID. Okay. So let's start with intro to machine learning. So guys, first of all, let me ask you one question. What is machine learning? Let's see. कितनों कितना समझ में आया दो दिन में और जो लोग नए लोग हैं, आप लोग भी बता सकते हैं. What do you understand by machine learning? What is the first thing that comes in your mind uh, when I say what is machine learning? Yeah, machine please. learning is the language which machine understand. Mm, okay, anyone? Anyone else? Machine learning is the process in which we are teaching the machine to think like a human and deal with the uh, problems which are not uh, predefined in it. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Let me explain you uh, the concept of machine learning. So, yeah. As you can see, uh, machine learning is defined as the subfield of AI. You know, uh, when I introduced myself, I said I am pursuing my B.Tech degree in computer science with specialization in AI and ML. I'm using two words, AI and ML, means they are not same. They are related to each other, but they are not equal. So what is the difference between AI and ML? Okay, machine learning enables a computer system to make predictions or take some decisions using historical data. What, what does it mean? Means we are going to train our machine Okay, we are going to train our machine so that it can predict some output based on some historical data. Okay, the best example is uh, weather forecasting. What it does, weather forecasting uh, actually it predicts the future, uh, you know, prediction of uh, related to weather. How? Based on some historical data. We do what we past mein jitne bhi, uh, weather se related jo bhi data hota hai, us machine ko dete. Based on that historical data, it predicts output. Okay, we have historical data there like uh, 
अभी कुछ सालों पहले बारिश ऐसे होती थी लाइक जो भी वेदर से रिलेटेड जितनी भी इन्फॉर्मेशन थी हमने वो मशीन को दी बेस्ड ऑन दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन इट विल प्रडिक्ट सम फ्यूचर आउटकम ओके दिस इज हाउ योर वेदर फोरकास्टिंग वर्क नाउ द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ए आई एंड एम एल नाउ यू कैन सी वी हैव अ डाइग्राम वी हैव सुपर सेट दिस इज कॉल्ड सुपर सेट द आउटर सर्कल इज कॉल्ड सुपर सेट द आउटर सर्कल इज आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इन साइड आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस वी हैव डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट्स वी हैव मशीन लर्निंग एंड वी हैव अदर सब्जेक्ट्स ऑल्सो we have soft computing we have genetic algorithm okay and uh, we have and we have uh, some other uh, subjects also so the most important subjects for uh, artificial intelligence is machine learning okay so machine learning is a sub field of artificial intelligence okay and inside machine learning we have deep learning rohit what is deep learning then yeah Uh, we use deep learning if we have image data. Okay, अगर हमें face recognize करना होता है like if we want to recognize any image, any uh, you know any video, speech recognition, video recognition, image recognition, object recognition, then we use deep learning. We will discuss deep learning in tomorrow's lecture. So uh, so today's lecture we are going to cover machine learning. Okay, you know sometimes machine learning fails. Where when we have image data video data we can uh, use traditional machine learning in image data also but kya hota na accuracy matter karta hai agar modern agar machine acche se uh, bata hi nahi pa rahi hai ki ye rohit ki photo hai ye harshit ki photo hai to kya fayda okay then so in that case we use deep learning clear everyone is it clear sir snapchat to... snapchat Snapchat using the concept concept of face recognition. Yes. With uh, yeah, there we use deep learning techniques. In deep learning, we have CNN, convolutional neural network. We will cover this topic in tomorrow's lecture. Tomorrow we will see lot of application of deep learning. Okay, we will cover uh, your license plate recognition, QR code. Okay, and also we will cover face recognition and. Uh, Inside your Snapchat, we have face recognition. So in those ex uh, applications, we use deep learning. Clear? Okay. okay. So application of machine yes, learning, sir. we have image recognition, handwritten recognition, speech recognition, email spam and malware filtering, online fraud detection, number plate recognition. Guys, uh, recently. Uh, my research paper is published on uh, the topic handwritten recognition you can search title on google scholar evaluation of supervised machine learning models for handwritten digit recognition there you will find my research paper which is available on ieee xx portal okay you can check i'll share i'll share uh, the link of that website okay so these are the uh, application of machine learning okay image recognition handwritten recognition Speech recognition, and these are the some interesting applications of machine learning. So now we are going to cover types of machine learning. Actually, I'm, uh, अभी मैं previous concept revise कर रहा हूँ, तो सुशांत ने पढ़ाए थे, ठीक है? Then we will start with unsupervised learning. Okay. So types of machine learning. So we have supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. Uh, let me ask you one question. अगर आप लोगों ने कल तक के लेक्चर अच्छे से किए हैं प्लीज लेट मी नो वट वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सुपरवाइज लर्निंग अनसुपरवाइज लर्निंग एंड रेन फ्रूसमेंट लर्निंग एनी आइडिया एनी वन जिनने कल तक लेक्चर लिया था Sir, in supervised we have labels. In unsupervised we just uh, we don't have labels. It is uh, based on clustering. And in reinforced it is a feedback system. Yeah, right. Anyone else? Well, the right answer. So, uh, in supervised, we have to give a label data. De means, if we are giving two plus two, we have to give the output. Bhi dena padega, four. Unsupervised, we have to give label data. De, wo, unlabeled data, and in reinforcement, we have to learn the same thing, like feedback system. Right. Okay, if anyone doesn't know, so 
I'm going to explain uh, the difference between supervised learning and supervised learning. Okay. Uh, yeah. Supervised learning, unsupervised learning, reinforcement learning. If anybody asks you what is supervised learning, the first thing uh, that should come in your mind is supervisor. As name suggests, supervised means we have a supervisor. We have a teacher. Okay. अब हमारी क्लास में क्या होता है अब जैसे जो छोटे बच्चे होते हैं तो हमको कैसे पढ़ाते हैं हमको बताते हैं लाइक वन ऐसे लिखते हैं ओके टू ऐसे लिखते हैं थ्री ऐसे लिखते हैं नो ऑडियो नॉट ऑडिबल सॉरी 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 मैं म्यूट कर दिया था सॉरी ओके सो If anybody asks you what is supervised learning, okay, the first thing that that should come in your mind is supervisor. Okay, supervised learning, as name suggests, supervisor. हमारे class में क्या होता है? हमारे class में नहीं, बच्चों के class में जो छोटे छोटे बच्चे होते हैं, तो उनको हम one, two, three सिखाते हैं. तो teacher क्या करता है? बताता है, one ऐसे लिखते हैं, two ऐसे लिखते हैं, three ऐसे लिखते हैं. so that's why it's called supervised we have a supervisor okay we will discuss supervised learning in detail like we uh, yeah we have a labeled data what is labeled data we will discuss it so the simple idea of supervised learning means we have a supervisor now we train our model we train our machine based on labeled data okay in unsupervised learning unsupervised learning as name suggests there is no supervisor okay there is no teacher machine has to find hidden pattern okay by itself and in reinforcement learning uh, it's based on reward okay reward based we will discuss it in, uh, in like upcoming slide so now label data unlabeled data so guys uh, itna clear hua types of machine learning little bit we will discuss in detail uh, with the help of label and unlabeled data kyunki mera unsupervised learning hai to main isko acche se discuss karunga this is clear guys so that we can continue With labeled and unlabeled data. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. So let me open yes. whiteboard. Okay. सबको clear हो रहा है ना? So okay. Now I'm going to explain you what is labeled data. and what is unlabeled data okay jaise maine ek research paper likha tha hand written digit recognition ke upar so uh, we have a data set called amnes data set where is a collection of a uh, so, uh, lot of samples uh, of 0 to 9 okay suppose uh, my writing style is like this and uh, harshit aise likhta hai दो को एंड हर्षित लाइक लेट सपोज ऐसे लिखता है सुशांत ऐसे लिखता है ओके इसको मिटाई देते हैं ओके एंड लाइक सपोज उज्जवल ऐसे लिखता है एंड कोई और है वो ऐसे लिखता है और कोई ऐसे लिखता है ओके इफ वी हैव डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ स्टाइल्स यू नो दिस इज माय स्टाइल दिस इज उज्जवल हर्षित सुशांत different different people we have different different styles okay ab hamare paas different different styles hain to still hum isko to one hi bolenge na bolenge ki nahi clear isko main remove kar deta hu and hamare paas kitne bhi samples hain hum usko to ek hi bolenge so this is called your label means one output is already tagged with some input value okay this is output which is already tagged with input data clear here you, you can also see in label data we have different samples of uh, dog and cat you can see there is a similarity uh, you can see if this type of samples we have we will call it dog when output is already tagged with this type of sample and we have if we have this type of sample we will call it cat ओके मींस वन आउटपुट इज ऑलरेडी टैग अब अनलेबल डेटा क्या है 
अनलेबल डेटा में तो कोई कॉन्सेप्ट ही नहीं है आउटपुट का हमें पता ही नहीं है कि इसको डॉग कहते हैं इसको कैट कहते हैं ठीक है अब मशीन को क्या करना पड़ता है खुद ही दिमाग लगाना पड़ता है कि यार ये दोनों एक जैसे दिखते हैं तो इनको एक ग्रुप बना लो और ये दोनों एक जैसे दिखते हैं तो इनका एक ग्रुप बना लो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन विथ इन टर्म्स ऑफ डिजिट रिकॉग्निशन अब सपोज ये वन है ये वन है ये टू है ये टू है ये वन है ये वन है ये टू है ये वन है ये टू है अब मशीन को कुछ भी नहीं पता लाइक टू कि लाइक व्हाट इज द आउटपुट एंड मशीन हैज टू फाइंड द हिडन पैटर्न्स एंड हैज टू एनालाइज द सिमिलैरिटी बिटवीन दैम व्हाट आर द सिमिलर ऑब्जेक्ट्स व्हाट आर द सिमिलर डिजिट्स दीज डिजिट्स आर सिमिलर टू इच अदर राइट यस एंड These uh, digits are uh, similar. अब मशीन को क्या किया मशीन ने जो जो सिमिलर डेटा है उनको एक ग्रुप बना दिया वन ऐसे करके वन जो जो सिमिलर ऑब्जेक्ट है उनका ग्रुप बना दिया लेट सपोज दिस अब मशीन को कुछ नहीं पता कि ये टू है ये वन है वो क्या करेगा ग्रुप बना देगा कि एक जैसे दिखने वाले हैं सिमिलर ऑब्जेक्ट है इनमें सिमिलैरिटी है तो इनका एक ग्रुप बना दिया और ये इस टाइप के हैं तो इनका एक अलग ग्रुप बना गया सो दिस इज कॉल्ड अनलेबल डेटा हमारे पास लेबल नहीं है मशीन हैज टू फाइंड द हिडन पैटर्न्स एंड हैज टू एनालाइज द यू नो सिमिलैरिटी बिटवीन देम सो दिस इज कॉल्ड अनसुपरवाइज्ड लर्निंग ओके अनलेबल डेटा वी यूज अनलेबल डेटा फॉर अनसुपरवाइज्ड लर्निंग सो दिस इज क्लियर गाइस इन लेबल डेटा वी हैव लेबल्स अनलेबल डेटा देयर इज नो कांसेप्ट ऑफ लेबल देयर इज नो कांसेप्ट ऑफ आउटपुट machine has to find similarity clear clear guys yes yeah. agar hum uh, label unlabeled unlabeled data pe feedback mechanism laga de fir ha is tarike ke label ban jayega yes now let me explain you the interesting topic okay uh, abhi ek bachche ne question pucha dost ne to hamare paas kya hota hai na If we have less data, okay. If we have less data, then we use labeled data. What if we have big data? अगर हमारे पास काफी बड़ा data है, बहुत ज़्यादा बड़ा, then we use unlabeled data to, you know, and then we use unlabeled data. Then we use unsupervised learning to label the data. Okay. Uh, suppose uh, uh, हमारे पास एक छोटा data, okay. छोटे डेटा में तो हम ले हम सुपरवाइज लर्निंग लगा देंगे क्योंकि वहाँ पे आ, हर इनपुट के साथ हमारे पास एक आउटपुट है कि वन है तो ये वन होगा वट इफ यू हैव लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ डेटा वहाँ पे तो हम एक एक करके बैठ के इसको अगर ये वन है वन है तो हम इसको वन बोलेंगे टू बोलेंगे अब उसको बनाने में तो लगे नहीं रहेंगे हमारे पास लाख दो लाख रोज हैं वन लैख टू लैख हमारे पास काफ़ी ज़्यादा डेटा है देन इन दैट केस वी यूज अनसुपरवाइज लर्निंग अनलेबल डेटा to group similar type of samples and we label those data with the help of supervised learning then we use supervised learning okay so this type of hybrid machine learning use in those cases. clear okay thank you so we have uh, supervised learning we have classification regression in unsupervised learning we have clustering and association okay space nahi tha to so we have association also in reinforcement learning uh, i will discuss in upcoming slide so let me start with classification classification means what classification means if we have a data set what our machine will do it will classify the data in different different classes uh, suppose this is class a class b agar hamare paas ek data set hai uh, let me explain with the help of Okay, suppose I have a data set which consists of uh, this type of say this okay, and uh, this type of say this type of say this type of say. Okay, so in classification, what it will do? It will draw a, a decision boundary which separates classes into different classes. Means it will separate if it looks like this. इट विल इस साइड आ जाएगा और मतलब 
we are going to classify the data in different different classes suppose this is class a class b so with the help of decision boundary it separates the data into different different classes clear and uh, if you can, i think there is a question kuch log puchhenge then what is the difference between classification and uh, clustering like what is the difference between classification and unsupervised learning so guys classification is a supervised learning technique where we use label data okay but in clustering clustering uh, unsupervised learning maine bataya ki hum group mein divide kar dete hain but in that case we use unlabeled data for classification we use label data clear so this is the concept of classification we divide our uh, our data set into different different classes so this is all about classification and the regression regression is already covered by sushant with the help of implementation today i'll show you the implementation of classification i have a i have a best example of classification i have iris data set today i will cover implementation of iris data set on csv file tomorrow uh, i will cover classification of iris data set on image data okay image data means we are going to use deep learning but today i will use traditional machine learning on csv data okay so regression is what in simple words we can say if we if we are going to uh, predict some output uh, which is a numerical data like your salary prediction and uh, stock market prediction in that case we use regression regression means we are going to uh, regression means we are going to predict output as a numerical value okay this as simple as crap by it's a very simple definition which is already covered by susan in detail okay so we have classification technique logistic regression support vector machine uh, decision tree k nearest neighbors random forest maybe bias logistic regression is already uh, done so some has already explained if you want a uh, recorded video uh, the link for the google drive is already shared in whatsapp group so okay i am going to cover support vector machine on classification data because we have not yet complete classification technique okay so today i will explain implementation of support vector machine so what is support vector machine support vector machine we have uh, x1 and x2 x1 x2 are your uh, you know features now we have two data data points like uh, this is uh, we have blue and green we will draw one hyperplane that separates data points into different different classes because support vector machine is what support vector machine is your classification technique okay so we are going to classify the data in different different classes with the help of support vector machine we have hyperplane that separates data into two uh, two classes now you can see jo iske upar hai na ye this is called positive hyperplane and below the hyperplane we have negative hyperplane and we have margin margin is what margin is different dif distance between positive hyperplane and negative hyperplane this this one is called your margin margin jitna zyada hoga support vector machine utna acha hoga let me explain you with the help of some pen paint so ab yahan pe as i told you uh, margin jitna zyada hoga support vector machine utna acha hoga okay why i am saying this suppose we have negative hyperplane here and positive hyperplane here now you can see margin is this margin is increased clear if we have more mar means maximum margin is equal to best support vector machine jitna zyada margin hoga classes utne acche se separate honge hum acche se dekh pa rahe na मार्जिन ज्यादा है तो क्लासेस अच्छे से सेपरेट है क्लियर है गाइस इट इज क्लियर यस सर ओके मींस वी हैव टू इंश्योर दैट मार्जिन शुड बी मैक्सिमम एंड व्हाट आर सपोर्ट वेक्टर्स सपोर्ट वेक्टर्स आर दोस डेटा पॉइंट्स 
that are near to your decision boundary okay you can see this point and this point these two points are called called support vectors clear clear what support vector kaise kehte hain and uh, other terms that i already discussed clear yes sir so this is called your support vector machine and uh, we are going to discuss the implementation of support vector machine now unsupervised learning as name suggests unsupervised learning is a machine learning technique in which models are not supervised using training data set means uh, i already explained you what is unsupervised learning means there is no supervisor uh, machine has to you know find the hidden patterns and, and find to machine has to find the similarity between the objects okay so in unsupervised learning we use unlabeled data unsupervised learning is used if we have large amount of data big data okay agar hamare paas medical records hain kuch aise records hain jo kafi zyada amount mein bahut zyada hame to kabhi work hi nahi kiya hoga main bhi ml ka bahut sare projects kar chuka hu still we have used uh, you know limited uh, amount of data mein kafi matlab यह है डेटा सेट पे काम अस्सी अस्सी हजार सैंपल्स पे बट स्टिल दैट इज नॉट दैट मच हमारे पास उससे भी ज्यादा रिकॉर्ड्स हैं ओके अगर ज्यादा रिकॉर्ड्स हैं तो वहां पे लेबल करने के लिए कोई नहीं बैठेगा इन दैट केस वी यूज अनसुपरवाइज लर्निंग मीन्स डेटा हमारे पास काफी ज्यादा बड़ा है वहां पे लेबल तो होगा नहीं अब कोई बैठ के लेबल तो करेगा नहीं तो बहुत ज्यादा अमाउंट में डेटा होगा तो इन दैट केस यूज अनसुपरवाइज लर्निंग क्लियर पॉसिबल तो नहीं होगा अभी पॉसिबल लाइक अनसुपरवाइज लर्निंग बेसिकली यूज होता है ग्रुप करने के लिए सिमिलर टाइप के जो ऑब्जेक्ट्स हैं उनको एक साथ ग्रुप करने के लिए फिर उसके बाद हम सुपरवाइज लर्निंग यूज करते हैं इन मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस और अनसुपरवाइज लर्निंग का भी हम यूज करते हैं अगर हमारे पास अगर हमें करना है तो अभी मैं करूँगा डिस्कस के मीन्स क्लस्टरिंग इज बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अनसुपरवाइज लर्निंग एंड एक्सप्लेन द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ के मीन्स क्लस्टरिंग ओके नाउ वी हैव क्लस्टरिंग and association as i already explained what is your unlabeled data so clustering is uh, is a unsupervised learning so we have a bunch of you know fruit in which we have apple we have strawberry and suppose we have banana or anything so if we have similar kind of uh, fruits like apple 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 to so, ye kya karega na inko ek group mein dal dega and if we have strawberry तो इनको अलग ग्रुप में बना देगा एंड uh, अगर हमारे पास कोई और है तो लाइक दिस तो क्लस्टरिंग इज वॉट क्लस्टरिंग इज बेस्ड ऑन अनलेबल डेटा मीन्स मशीन हैज टू फाइंड सिमिलैरिटी सिमिलैरिटी मीन्स एप्पल उसको एप्पल के शेप के जो भी देखेंगे उनको एक ग्रुप में डाल देगा स्ट्रॉबेरी शेप के जो देखेंगे उनको दूसरे ग्रुप में डाल देगा एंड uh, उसको uh, कौन सा फूड है भी है एक सब आप बनाना तो उसको उसमें डाल देगा क्लियर गाइज वट इज क्लस्टरिंग we have uh, five types of clustering we have partitioning clustering density based clustering distribution model based clustering hierarchical clustering fuzzy clustering okay let us discuss some of them partitioning clustering means we are going to create some of some partition based on the similarity dekho na panch partition kar diye humne data set ke so this is called partitioning clustering what we do we partition the data set into different different partition like uh, if we have green uh, green triangle and red circle um, square anything so what we are going to do it's a type of clustering that divides the data into non hierarchical group we will discuss what is hierarchical clustering also in which I, uh, the term hierarchical word is clear okay it is also known as the centroid based method in past uh, in partitioning clustering we use centroid okay centroid 
we will discuss uh, what exactly your centroid is and why we are using centroid in k means cluster in next slide uh, i will discuss what is k means clustering and upcoming slide okay now first uh, let us discuss what is density based clustering density based clustering means uh, we are going to create a cluster of highly dense area you can see in the red region we have data points that are very close to each other see and in green uh, portion you can see data are not that much close as compared to the red one okay so what we do in density based clustering we cluster the data based on you know uh, how much far away they are so density means based on density if we have highly dense area we will cluster them in one group and we have less density we will cluster them into different cluster okay now we have hierarchical clustering let me explain this because uh, hierarchical is uh, very important or you know anache to let me explain with the help of whiteboard suppose we have uh, these points p1 and p2 okay p1 p2 these are two data points yeah sir screen freeze over background freeze over okay? uh, like your screen was not ab dikh raha dikh raha dikh raha suppose we have two points p1 and p2 or uh, which i am uh, denoting with the help of red dots okay now suppose i have another points isko main kaise kar dete q1 and q2 i am denoting these points with the help of yellow dots now suppose i have another points another data points R1, R2, जिसे देखना ठीक है काफी अच्छा है काफी इंटरेस्टिंग सो आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट डेंडोग्राम दिस डायग्राम इज कॉल्ड डेंडोग्राम ओके अ ट्री लाइक स्ट्रक्चर हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट डेंडोग्राम ध्यान से देखना ठीक है वाई एक्सेस इज कॉल्ड then uh, distance and x axis is called is particle okay data points now you can see we have two points p1 and p2 they are you know kafi nazdeek hai theek hai they are similar to each other so we are going to cluster these two points in one cluster so let's denote this by p1 and p2 so we are going to cluster these two points so like this and in y axis we have distance what is the distance why i am using here distance distance means the distance between p1 and p2 okay we can call we can find the distance between p1 and p2 by euclidean distance which is calculated by x2 minus x1 मैं माउस से कर रहा हूँ तो थोड़ा सा धीरे-धीरे हो रहा है square plus y2 minus y1 square okay we can calculate this distance with the help of Euclidean distance so let's suppose uh, what we are going to do we are going to cluster p1 and p2 and the distance between them suppose we have one unit this is two suppose uh, this is three is for sorry for the writing guys actually i'm using mouse because uh, mouse se kar raha hu usliye ho raha hai theek hai so yahan tak samajh maya how humne kaise p1 aur p2 ko cluster kiya okay now we have another data points q1 and q2 let's suppose 
ये दोनों ऑफिस में काफ़ी पास पास हैं तो लाइक वी आर गोइंग टू क्लस्टर दैन क्यू वन एंड क्यू टू सपोज दिस इज क्यू वन एंड दिस इज क्यू टू सो वी आर गोइंग टू क्लस्टर दीज टू पॉइंट दैट सपोज आई एम गेटिंग डिस्टेंस एज टू टू यूनिट सो इन दिस वे वी कैन क्लस्टर दीज टू पॉइंट ओके क्यू वन और क्यू टू को मैंने क्लस्टर कर दिया आपस में क्योंकि वो आपस में काफ़ी पास पास थे तो विद द हेल्प ऑफ यूक्लिडियन डिस्टेंस वी हैव कैलकुलेट दूक्लिडियन डिस्टेंस बिटवीन क्यू वन एंड क्यू टू एंड सपोज यूक्लिडियन डिस्टेंस इज टू पॉइंट थ्री और वट एवर ओके सो वी हैव क्लस्टर क्यू वन एंड क्यू टू क्यू वन एंड क्यू टू नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू क्लस्टर आर वन एंड एंड आर टू लेट सपोज वी गॉट द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन आर वन एंड आर टू एज फाइव यूनिट आर वन आर टू फाइव यूनिट ओके सो दिस इज हाउ वी हैव क्लस्टर्ड आर वन एंड आर टू नाउ वी कैन सी दिस टू क्लस्टर्स आर यू नो नियर टू इच अदर सो वी आर गोइंग टू क्लस्टर दिस टू डिफरेंट डिफरेंट क्लस्टर इस तरीके से ट्री लाइक स्ट्रक्चर बनाने की कोशिश करते हैं ओके अब इन दोनों के बीच की डिस्टेंस निकालेंगे ये वाली ओके P1 P2 वन पी टू ये क्यू वन क्यू टू ये दिस लेट सपोज वी गॉट डिस्टेंस एज फोर ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू क्लस्टर दिस बिगर वन एंड द आर वन एंड आर टू लाइक दिस दिस क्लस्टर वी आर गोइंग टू क्लस्टर सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ या लेट सपोज वी गॉट सिक्स यूनिट डिस्टेंस सिक्स यूक्लिडियन डिस्टेंस so in this way we can draw your dendrogram okay ab dendrogram ka use kya hai ab kaafi log keh rahe hain dendrogram use kyun kar rahe hain so itna clear hua like ki kaise humne dendrogram banaya excuse me sir yes sir jo humne p1 p2 aur q1 q2 ka distance nikala hai wo unke mean se nikalenge like median se nahi uh, distance hum nikalenge euclidean distance se this formula is used for yes sir yes sir बट लाइक जो पी वन पी टू और क्यू वन क्यू टू के क्लस्टर्स को हमने ज्वाइन किया है तो उसके लिए जो दो पॉइंट्स लेने होंगे यूक्लिडियन डिस्टेंस निकालने के लिए तो वो पॉइंट कौन से होंगे लाइक उनका मिड पॉइंट होगा दोनों क्लस्टर्स के ज्वाइनिंग लाइन का यस 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 मिड पॉइंट काफी लोग पूछेंगे ये हम यूज क्यों कर रहे हैं ये डेंडोग्राम हरारिकल क्लस्टरिंग सो लेट सपोज वी हैव अ डेटा इन विच रेड दिस इज योर वट दिस इज योर स्क्वायर ओके वी हैव अदर स्क्वायर वी हैव अनदर स्क्वायर Okay. And we have another square, and uh, this we have different different shape. you can see if we have cluster inside cluster then we use hierarchical clustering you can see uh, uh, we have let's go this one okay here you can see let me just yeah now you can see we have different different सेप्स ऑफ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कलर्स हमारे पास ये जो सेप हैं अब सेम सेप के हमारे पास दूसरे कलर के भी हैं ठीक है अब हमारे पास ये स्क्वायर है अब स्क्वायर रेड में भी है और हमारे पास ग्रीन में भी है हमारे पास सर्कल है अभी लेट सपोज इसमें हमारे पास सर्कल हो सकता है दूसरे कलर में भी है इफ वी हैव मल्टीपल क्लस्टर्स वी हैव क्लस्टर इन साइड क्लस्टर देन वी यूज हरारिकल क्लस्टर ओके 
so k means clustering k means clustering is a unsupervised learning algorithm which groups the unlabeled data set into different different clusters in k means clustering we use centroid method we have to find the centroid okay let me show the steps to find uh, how we can cluster the data set in a different kind cluster we have step 1 select the number k to decide the number of cluster here you can see we have three clusters cluster 1 cluster 2 cluster 3 so here k defines the number of clusters we have three clusters means uh, k ki value kitni hogi 3 hogi okay now select random k points or centroid now we have to find random centroid let's suppose this one let's suppose this one this one and this one i have uh, i have initialized any random centroid centroid 1 centroid 2 centroid 3 okay select random k points or centroid first of all we have to decide the number of clusters means the value of k then we have to initialize we have to select random centroids assign each data point to their closest centroid just wait for 2 seconds Yeah. Let's suppose this is centroid one, centroid two, centroid three, and suppose we have random data point this. So what we will do? We will find uh, the Euclidean distance between this centroid and this data point. This, okay? This distance, then this distance. then this distance okay based on the minimum distance we will assign this data point in that cluster okay to so, iske is data point ke pass mein sabse kaun sa centroid hai ye wala to humne ye data point ko is wale mein dal diya see pura data point isme chale gaya clear hai clear hua guys please respond यार ऐसे करोगे तो सीरीज क्लियर यस सर ओके सो इन दिस वे वी कैन पॉइंट टू द नियरेस्ट सेंट्रोइड ओके सो असाइन ईच डेटा पॉइंट टू देयर क्लोजेस्ट सेंट्रोइड which will form the predefined k cluster now step 4 is calculate the variance and place a new centroid of each cluster now what we have to do uh abhi data point is wali cluster mein aa gaya theek hai to hum kya karenge naya centroid find karenge aur is tarike se hum naya data point laenge aur usse har centroid ka distance find karenge aur minimum distance jahan pe hogi hum usko us wale cluster mein dal denge so in this way uh, we can use k means clustering algorithm okay now we have association association is what that is suppose we have different different customers customer 1 customer 2 customer 3 suppose uh, customer 1 uh, go to goes to you know shop and he buy a bread then after bread he buy milk then fruit then wheat the another customer come and he buy bread then milk then rice then butter ab aise hi teesra customer aaya usne pehle bread buy kiya aur uske liye kuch bhi you know bas bread lene ke liye aaya tha whatever machine will do you know it will recommend him you should buy milk kyunki pehle jo customer the customer 1 customer 2 unne ek trend follow kiya ब्रेड बाय किया उसके बाद मिल्क फिर फ्रूट फिर वीट यू नो ब्रेड के बाद कस्टमर वन और कस्टमर टू दोनों ने मिल्क बाय किया तो कस्टमर थ्री जब आया उसने ब्रेड खरीदा 
तो जो मशीन जो हमारा मशीन लर्निंग मॉडल होगा मशीन लर्निंग जो मशीन होगी वो क्या करेगी उसको मिल्क प्रेफर करेगी लाइक यू शुड बाय मिल्क ओके इन दिस वी एसोसिएशन वर्क सो ना अभी है रेन फोर्समेंट लर्निंग रेन फोर्समेंट लर्निंग वट वी डू वी चूज दो पाथ थ्रू विच वी कैन मैक्सीमाइज द रिवॉर्ड सपोज वी हैव अ एजेंट एंड इस एजेंट का टास्क है he has to uh, get the diamond what he will he can do he can choose this path this path and this path ab usko reward chahiye reward usko tab milega jab wo aisa path choose karega jisme koi bhi obstacle na ho to wo kaun sa path choose karega definitely this one agar is path se jayega to usko koi bhi obstacle nahi aayenge to usko rewards milega so in this way reinforcement learning works ओके नाउ वी हैव ट्रेनिंग डेटा एंड टेस्टिंग डेटा ट्रेनिंग एंड टेस्टिंग ट्रेनिंग मीन्स द डेटा विच वी गिव टू अवर मशीन फॉर ट्रेनिंग ट्रेनिंग डेटा मीन्स फॉर ट्रेनिंग पर्पज एंड टेस्टिंग डेटा मीन्स टेस्टिंग मीन्स अनसीन डेटा सपोज वी हैव अ डेटा सेट इन विच वी डिवाइड अवर डेटा सेट इन टू पार्ट्स ट्रेनिंग सेट एंड टेस्टिंग सेट ट्रेनिंग मीन्स जो हम ट्रेनिंग के लिए दे रहे हैं ठीक है टेस्टिंग मीन्स टेस्टिंग हम मशीन में मशीन लर्निंग मॉडल में डालते ही नहीं हैं हम सिर्फ ट्रेनिंग सेट देते हैं उसको मशीन को ट्रेन करने के लिए लाइक like हम उसको सिखा रहे हैं कि अगर इस टाइप के पैटर्न है वन है वन है डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सैम्पल्स है वन के तो वो वन होगा तो हम उसको अभी ट्रेनिंग कर रहे हैं उसकी हम उसको टेस्ट नहीं दे रहे हैं टेस्ट मीन्स टेस्टिंग डेटा मीन्स अनसीन डेटा जो मॉडल ने कभी नहीं देखा विच इज़ यूज टू टेस्ट अवर मॉडल टू इवेलुएट अवर मॉडल ओके so for training purpose we use training data okay machine train ho jayegi then to find the accuracy of that model we use testing data clear clear guys yes sir yes sir okay now the interesting topic iris data set now i am going to show you the implementation of classification i have a iris data set iris is what can you tell me what is iris anyone iris is a flower okay iris is a flower in iris we have different different species of iris flower we have santosa versicolor virginica okay we have three species you can see uh, ye different alag alag type ke dikh rahe hain so based on the petal length petal width based on sepal length sepal width we decide what is santosa what is versicolor and what is virginica this portion is called sepal and this portion is called petal and you can see for each species we have different different shape length okay you can see for santosa we have a small length of petal see we have a small length of petal now for versicolor it is bigger than santosa for virginica is uh, more greater than versicolor and santosa okay so these petal length and petal width uh, sepal length and sepal width will decide what is santosa what is versicolor and what is virginica so, guys clear kyunki abhi hum ye data set use karne wale hain to abhi aapko dikkat aayegi usme तो इसलिए मैंने सोचा पहले आपको डेटा सेट क्या है वो समझो इज इट क्लियर गाइस यस सर सर हमको कलर से भी इसको डिफ्रेंशिएट कर सकते हैं ना यस yes, कर सकते हैं उसके लिए क्या यूज होगा उसके लिए यूज होगा डीप लर्निंग इसीलिए हम कल क्या करने वाले हैं डीप लर्निंग अप्लाई करने वाले हैं इमेज डेटा पे आज हम सी uh, फाइल यूज करेंगे जिसमें हम, हमारे पास लेंथ दी होगी हमारे पास पैटल लेंथ दी होगी सेपल लेंथ दी होगी Uh, हमारे न्यूमेरिकल डेटा दिया होगा आज ठीक है तो क्योंकि आज हम ट्रेडिशनल मशीन लर्निंग यूज करने वाले हैं कल हम क्या करेंगे इमेज डेटा पे वर्क करेंगे हम आयरिस डेटा सेट uh, का मैं आपको कल दिखाऊंगा कि आयरिस डेटा सेट इमेज पे कैसा शो होता है पूरा डेटा सेट दिखाऊंगा कल जब हम uh, आएंगे लाइव आएंगे ठीक है तो देन वी विल वर्क ऑन इमेज डेटा ओके टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू वर्क ऑन न्यूमेरिकल डेटा सी एस वी डेटा क्लियर ओके सर थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सुरेश
I just want to know how much time do you need more? Oh, sorry. Uh, it will take 10 to 15 minutes. Let me quickly jump to no the problem. implementation part. Okay? Yeah, just give me, just give me a couple of minutes. Uh, guys, uh, after this session, you will be receiving a feedback form. Please fill that feedback form very wisely. Your uh, feedbacks are extremely confidential. Even I have not got to know who is giving the particular feedback or anyone, uh, not even the Google managers come to know what exactly who is giving the particular feedback. So please fill that particular feedback form because that is very important for us and for Google to understand how our sessions are going on. In the meantime, you can just rate this session on a scale of one to five in the chat box. Or other access over to upstairs GDC could be even make that quite nice Point zero 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 Okay, yeah, thank you so much for it. You can continue. Okay, so continue. Kare? <laughs> so let yeah, me you should continue. Okay. So, guys, <laughs> I'm going to use Google Collab. Google Collab is your cloud technology, okay, in which if we have a system of RAM, kam hai, disk, kam hai, size, kam hai, then uh, we don't need tension, hai zarurat nahi hai, but we, we, can use, we can use Google Collab and we have uh, different platform also, we have Kaggle also, we can use Kaggle, Kaggle is also a good platform to work with machine learning models, so now I am going to use Google Collab. What it, what it does, it provides you, you know, free machine, provides you RAM and uh, disk space so that if there is 2 GB RAM, 3 GB, 4 GB RAM, then you don't worry about it. It will provide you a free cloud provide karega machine. Clear? So, let me create a new notebook. You can rename the file by jam. Okay. Now we have different different options. We have file, edit, view, insert, runtime tools, uh, different different. We have plus two plus text. You can see we have option click to connect. Click to connect. When I click here, it will allocate me a machine. You will see uh, when I. Uh, click on connect button it will give me a machine uh, which is you know this is like a cloud means cloud mein ek machine provide kar raha hai jisme jo hamare machine pe dependent nahi hai wo cloud se chal rahi hai theek hai it's connecting let me show you iris data Tomorrow we will work on image data of Iris. Okay. Now see, this is ID. ID. Uh, this is basically you know ID. Okay. We have sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. Uh, I have told you what is sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. So that is it. Okay. Now, as you can see, in Sentosa, we have smaller petal length in versicolor we have bigger one in virginica we have more bigger okay so this is how um, this you know this is basically a numerical representation of this data okay you can see for sentosa we have 5.1 length 
क्योंकि ये तो छोटा दिख रहा है अगर बात करें वर्सी कलर की तो ये बड़ा होना चाहिए ओके लेट मी चेक द डेटा सेट सेंटोसा के बाद आता है वर्सी कलर यू कैन सी सेवन क्लियर डेटा सेट क्लियर हुआ सो वी हैव कनेक्टेड यू कैन सी वी हैव मैक्सिम ऑफ ट्वेल्व पॉइंट सेवन जी बी ऑफ रैम एंड वन हंड्रेड सेवन पॉइंट सेवन जी बी ऑफ डिस्क स्पेस ओके किसी के लैपटॉप में अगर चार जी बी भी रैम होगा ना तो वो बारह जी बी रैम यूज कर सकता है दिस इज द बेनिफिट ऑफ क्लाउड नाउ यू जस्ट नीड टू क्लिक हेयर फाइल सुशांत ने वैसे सब बता दिया है फिर भी अब यहाँ पे हमने यहाँ पे क्लिक करना है अपलोड टू सेशन स्टोरेज स्टोरेज देन गो टू द डेस्टिनेशन ऑफ योर यू नो लोकल लोकल कंप्यूटर वेर यू हैव सेव योर डेटा सेट आई एस डेटा सेट आई विल शेयर द डेटा सेट विच यू इन व्हाट्सएप ग्रूप नाउ वेन यू डबल क्लिक ऑन आई एस डॉट सी एस वी विल फाइंड द डिटेल ऑफ योर डेटा सेट ओके Now, this is called cell. Cell means what? Where we are going to write Python code. Okay. So, our first aim is to import the required libraries. We have different different libraries. First, we are going to import pandas as pd. Okay. Pandas is a library. Library means what? Library means uh, if we have already defined uh, in library, we have already defined some functions. Means pandas is used to you know work with data set to import the data set to analyze the data set to manipulate the data set. So if we have to work on data set, then we use pandas. Now I am going to import numpy as np. Okay, NumPy is uh, you know n-dimensional array. Why I'm using NumPy array? You know NumPy array is fifty times faster than normal uh, Python list. So that's why we are using NumPy. Now I'm going to import dot py dot s. Okay, matplotlib dot py pl. Matplotlib is a library which is used to, uh, you know, to draw some graphs, uh, and you can say to visualize the data, to visualize the output. That's why we use matplotlib. Where uh, किसी को draw नहीं करना है, तो they can skip this. But you have to import pandas and numpy. Now I am going to import scikit-learn sklearn dot model. dot model selection import train test split okay scikit learn kafi badi library hai in which we have so many functions we have train test split train test split means abhi maine bataya tha na means uh, we are going to split the data set into training and testing data in which training uh, data is used to Train the model and test data is used to evaluate the model. So now I have imported the data, imported the train test split. Okay. Now from sklearn, I am going to import Now you can see I have imported sklearn dot preprocessing import label encoder. Label encoder means if I click here iris dot csv, you can see we have column species, which is your label or you can say class. This column is in you know all the data items or the values are in a string value, but Uh, other columns contains integer data so we have to convert this species column in uh, in a column in which we have a numerical value okay so that's why i am using label encoder label encoder means it will convert 
this string into particular label or particular uh, numeric data. Clear? Is it not clear? Hora? Yes, sir. Sabko clear? Hora, na? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. From now, I am going to import. Skillet matrix. Okay. I'm using this uh, SQLN dot matrix import accuracy score. This is used to find. This is used to evaluate the model. If you want to find the accuracy of a model, then we have to use accuracy score. Okay. Now another library. We have the main important library, which is your you know S uh, SVM, because basically we are going to create support vector machine model. So we have to import SQLR. SVM import SV SVC from support vector machine. We are, we are going to import support vector classifier. Okay, all the models are called classifier. We have support vector classifier, we have uh, uh, KNN, all these are called your classifier. Now, there are two options first, you can run by clicking here, run cell. Or you can use shift plus enter. Okay, I'm going to use shift plus enter. You can see there is no error uh, and it is run successfully. So in this way we can import libraries. Okay, so clear it now. Don't worry about code. Yes, sir. I will share a repository of my GitHub account. There you will find all the um, code, source code. Now I'm going to import dataset as i already told you if we if you want to work with dataset we will use pandas so i have created one variable called data in which i am using pd you can see import pandas as pd so i am going to use pd dot read csv here i i have I, I should use name of the data set iris dot csv or there are other option also what we can do we can just clear click on three dot of my data set here i have option copy path and inside this double course i just need to paste the whatever i copied you can see this is the path of my data uh, data set clear can you just say this tiny WhatsApp chat? Yes, I can see it. Uh, I'll share it, Rohit. You continue your lecture. Okay. Okay. इसके बाद share कर दूँगा. ठीक है. Video भी होगा. आराम से करते रहना. Now we can print our data. Or we can use print data. I have two options. Okay, but I like this one because it looks more clear. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to calculate the shape, shape of my data set. You can see 150 comma 6 means I have 150 rows and 6 columns. Okay, now I'm going to use label encoder to convert a string in uh, numerical value. I'm going to get instance of label encoder. Encode. Label. Level encoder. Okay. Then I'll then I'll transform my species column into okay. Now inside the breaker bracket, I have to write 
that uh, column which I am going to convert. Okay, so I am going to convert this species because it contains a string value. So I will write that column. Okay, data data dot species. Okay, when I run this, you can see uh, it runs successfully. Now, if I print data. Did you observe any uh, changes, anyone? I am. Yes, sir. What is the change? Species may change again. Huh. Now all the values are converted to numerical data. Okay. Now we can use our model. So the next thing is uh, X and Y. Let me go to the data set. Features. X is your features. What is feature? Features means that features are different for all the species that defines uh, a particular species. Because uh, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. Now, be centosa ke liye alag honge, versicolor ke liye alag honge, or virginica ke liye alag honge. So features means what? Apne face ki baat karte ho. Tamare face mein features har har insaan ke alag honge. हमारे आईज के बीच की डिस्टेंस अलग होगी नोज का शेप अलग होगा सो फीचर्स डिफाइन अ पर्टिकुलर स्पीशीज और पर्टिकुलर ऑब्जेक्ट ओके सो व्हाट इज द फीचर्स हियर वी हैव फोर कॉलम्स सेपल लेंथ सेपल विड्थ पेटल लेंथ एंड पेटल विड्थ दीस फोर रोस आर योर फीचर्स एंड डिपेंडेंट आल्सो वी कैन कॉल इट इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल ओके एंड वी हैव स्पीशीज दिस इज योर डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल Dependent variable means which is depend upon these features. If we have this type of features, we will call it as Iris centosa. If we have uh, this type of features, we will call it as Iris versicolor. If we have this type of, we will call it as Iris virginica. Clear, guys? Features and your uh, you know independent variable and dependent variable. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, I'm going to define uh, the feature. I just need to write the name of the column. I have another method also, so let me explain with the simple one. Sepal This is first column. Now right. Petal length CM. Sepal and sepal width. Sepal length, sepal width, Pet petal length, petal width. स्पेलिंग करेक्ट है स्पेलिंग गलत होगी तो फिर आ जाएगा स्पेलिंग करेक्ट है ओके यू कैन सी सक्सेसफुली डन नाउ यू कैन प्रिंट योर फीचर्स जस्ट राइट एक्स एंड यू कैन सी दिस आर योर फीचर्स क्लियर गाइस यस सर नाउ वी कैन डिफाइन योर डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल ओके दिस योर डेटा द लास्ट कॉलम which is your species you can see this one okay species you can print so we have successfully defined our features and dependent variable which uh, you know target variable which we are going to uh, predict now we have to convert these two you know x and y into numpy array because i already told you numpy array is 50 times faster than normal list so we have to use numpy array okay so x is np dot 
array we need to convert x it will convert my x in, in numpy array now y is np dot array y y to be change color and print clear कल भी क्या था लोग आप लोगों ने नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू यूज ट्रेन टेस्ट स्प्लिट ट्रेन टेस्ट ट्रेन टेस्ट स्प्लिट एक्स ट्रेन आई विल एक्सप्लेन ऑल द टर्म्स लेट्स लेट मी राइट फर्स्ट एक्स टेस्ट वाई वाई ट्रेन test it is few test split x y come on test size size to so what i am going to do I am dividing my data set into train and test. Okay, x train and y train. This is your training data. Okay, x train and y train. Okay, because I have divided my data set into features and uh, target variable. So x train and y train. This is your training data. And x test and y test. This is your testing data. I see confusion over over. Let me just write here. Extreme, X test, Y train, Y test, train test is split. Oh, sorry, zero point two. See, what is zero point two? Zero point two means we are using twenty percent data for testing and eighty percent data for training. Is that clear, guys? Uh, you can yes, sir. you can print your yes sir uh, yes sir. yeah now you can print your extreme you can see this is your you can check size of your training data this is it 120,4 and like this to up size check kar sakte hain now ek aur check kar lete hain Y test dot shape. Okay, like this. So I uh, I have divided my data set into twenty to eighty ratio. Okay, twenty percent data for testing, eighty percent data for training. Now I am going to create instance of my model. S V C support vector classifier. Okay. Because support vector classifier is already defined in SQLite library. If it is not defined, then we have to write the whole code ourselves. So, how much time it takes. So, in the SQLite library, everything is defined already. So, we just need to create instance or we can say object of that model, and then we can use. Now, we can fit our model. Model dot fit. X train, come on. Y train. मीन्स हम क्या कर रहे हैं मॉडल में ट्रेनिंग डेटा दे रहे हैं ट्रेन कर रहे हैं मॉडल को तो ट्रेनिंग डेटा क्या हमारा एक्स ट्रेन है और वाई ट्रेन है है ना तो मॉडल को हम फिट कर रहे हैं ट्रेनिंग डेटा से एक्स ट्रेन कम हो वाई ट्रेन इससे क्या होगा हमारा मॉडल ट्रेन हो जाएगा फिर नहीं फिट है डेटा Excuse me, sir. Yeah. So, can you please tell why the shape of Y test only have one uh, parameter thirty and not the other parameter? Yeah. Basically, ah, uh, जो हमारा test data है ना, 
वो टेस्ट डेटा सिर्फ एक ही कॉलम है ज़्यादा कॉलम होते इन दैट केस ये उसका कॉलम पार्ट भी देता वट इज दिस वन ट्वेंटी इज योर रो एंड फोर इज योर वट फोर इज योर कॉलम फॉर वाई टेस्ट वन थर्टी इज योर यू नो रोज एंड वन अगर वहाँ पे ज़्यादा होते तो तब दिखाता टेस्ट हमारे पास सिर्फ एक ही कॉलम है दैट्स वाई वो शो नहीं करता ठीक है ओके सर थैंक यू वी कैन प्रिडिक्ट मॉडल डॉट मॉडल डॉट प्रिडिक्ट एक्स टेस्ट अब हम प्रिडिक्शन कर रहे हैं ओके okay. हमने अब हम क्या कर रहे हैं हमने ट्रेनिंग कर दी मॉडल की ट्रेनिंग करने के बाद हम टेस्ट कर रहे हैं जो हमने टेस्टिंग डेटा टेस्टिंग डेटा हमने देखो मॉडल को ट्रेन करने में दिया ही नहीं था मीन्स मॉडल के पास सिर्फ अभी ट्रेनिंग डेटा है वो उसने ट्रेनिंग डेटा देख लिया अच्छे से तो उसके बाद टेस्टिंग डेटा है ही नहीं इसलिए टेस्टिंग डेटा को हम बोलते हैं यू नो अनसीन डेटा सो वी आर गोइंग टू प्रिडिक्ट द वैल्यूज बेस्ड ऑन टेस्ट डेटा अब हम उसको क्या कर रहे हैं एक्स टेस्ट एक्स टेस्ट में क्या हमारे पास एक बार हम दोबारा से सेव चेक कर लेते हैं एक्स टेस्ट डॉट सेव You can see we have thirty rows. We have thirty rows for testing data. Okay, means twenty percent data is for testing. So what I am going to do? X test. X test is what we have features now. And I am what I am doing? I am giving features. I am giving it. 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 Now, when you click, when you run this, I am predict कर रहा हूँ, predict कर रहा हूँ. Now you can see, it has created an array which shows zero two one zero zero one one two zero zero zero. What is this? Means, based on the testing data, it has predicted predicted the outcome. Means zero uh, defines your Sentosa, two defines your Virginica, and Versi color one is Versi color like this. If you see, if I write Y uh, bread, no, sorry, Y test. Y test क्या है हमारा देखो? Y test है zero two one zero 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 one one two zero two zero zero. This is your Y test, okay? Unseen data of, you know, uh, unseen data of your target value. And Y bread is what? Y bread is based on the features. of testing data what my model is predicting it is predicting this means pehla zero tha isne bhi zero predict kiya nice dusra two tha isne bhi two predict kiya teesra one tha isne bhi uh, one predict kiya you can you can compare you can compare these data points these points okay now i am going to calculate the accuracy itna clear hua what is predict predict and test yes sir Okay, now I am going to calculate the uh, accuracy of my model. Model dot model dot score x test comma y test one hundred percent. अब ये hundred percent अभी CSV data में आ रहा है. But जब हम कल use करेंगे image data तभी hundred percent नहीं आएगा. क्योंकि क्योंकि ये जो values हैं ये देखो proper proper एक्सट्रैक्ट की गई है प्रॉपर 5.1 पॉइंट वन प्रॉपर वैल्यूज हैं बट जब हम इमेज डेटा यूज करेंगे तब हमारे पास इतना प्रॉपर वैल्यू नहीं होती क्योंकि मॉडल को खुद ही प्रिंट करना पड़ता है देखना पड़ता है एनालाइज करना पड़ता है इमेज डेटा पे अगर हम इसको दोबारा से रन करेंगे तो हो सकता है वन ना आए ना ही ना आए ऐसा भी हो जाता है ठीक है अभी वन आ रहा है दैट मीन्स हंड्रेड परसेंट एक्टिव ओके क्लियर आई विल शेयर दिस नोटबुक विथ यू So, I hope you like my session. Okay, done. You can leave. Uh, if you have any doubt, you can ask me. Sir, yes. Which one is past? Uh, either supervised or unsupervised. They go or optimal. This depends. It depends. There is no perfect answer. If we have small data, then we use supervised learning. In that case, supervised learning is best. 
if you have large amount of data in that case unsupervised best there is no you know particular answer is true hum aisa nahi keh sakte ki supervised learning best hai wo depend karta hai data set pe data set kaun sa sir in terms of uh, uh, speed what uh, in terms of speed which one is faster or slower speed uh, speed to maine bhi check nahi kari usual pata hai no no uh, no there is nothing like that uh, well basically it is more like uh, you optimize your model if you want it to work faster so like if you have large data and you are apply uh, and you have label you have labeled large data you are using some supervised learning approach and you want it to work it more faster so what you are going to do you are going to utilize optimizers okay sir okay i'll share uh, the videos previous videos uh, of the session after after when jab we complete the course send karunga so now is is there anyone who is having any doubt rohit uh, just share the whatsapp groups uh, link once again in the chat box कोई रिसोर्सेस बता सकते हो जस्ट जस्ट लेट मी शेयर अ नेम ऑफ अ बुक इट इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर द बिगनर्स Yes, Akshar, you want to ask? Uh, sir, हमने जो डाटा uh, टेस्ट किया और जो हमारे पास आंसर आए वो इंटीजर में आए तो हमको फिर से उसको कन्वर्ट करना है नेम वाले में संतोषा में फिर वर्जन निकाल था उसमें कन्वर्ट करना है तो कर सकते हो हम कर सकते हैं लेकिन उसकी जरूरत नहीं है लाइक like, uh, वो पर्टिकुलर कर सकते हैं वैसे मुझे एग्जैक्टली मेथड याद नहीं आ रही बट वी कैन डू हम कर सकते हैं स्ट्रीम में चेंज कर सकते हैं पर्टिकुलर हम उसको दे सकते हैं लाइक अगर जीरो है तो उस जितने भी जीरो हमारे पास डेटा डेटा पॉइंट्स होंगे हम उसको एक स्ट्रिंग असाइन कर सकते हैं वो कर सकते हैं हम उसको आई हैव रिटर्न द नेम फॉर दैट बुक सो यू गाइस कैन डाउनलोड इट फ्रॉम इंटरनेट आई गेस पीडीएफ इज अवेलेबल एल्स यू कैन परचेज इट फ्रॉम Handle. Uh, its language is really easy. Like you are gonna enjoy it. Hmm. Guys, I have shared uh, the link of WhatsApp. You can you can go and join. Yes, Sumit. Does anyone have any query? No sir. Sorry. 